there's a uh, gospel song that has the lyrics is, the Lord will make a way somehow. And uh, I've experienced this in my life because I've had struggles, like most people have had struggles. And uh, there have been times when I wondered how such and such a situation is going to resolve itself and how it's going to be worked out. And I've learned that if I get out of my own self and my own selfish ways and allow myself to take on a humble heart, and uh, that I can say, the Lord will make a way somehow. And uh, we find the psalmist talks about this. And he says that uh, he may even uh, lift a person up out of the dust or even out of the dunghill. Or he says that he may set him with princesses, even among or with the princesses of his people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. In other words, he can change the circumstances because he holds it all in his hands. But the thing that we struggle with as humans is getting beyond our own human way of considering things or comprehending things and in essence to say that we just want to handle it ourselves we want to fix it we want to somehow or another have the ability in our own human self to be able to fix everything but God would say no why don't you just give that to me and instead of spending our time stressing and worrying and fussing and fuming just begin to give him glory and praise. And that's the essence of Psalms 113. That he begins with, praise ye the Lord. Praise him, ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. That's what Psalms 113 is saying. That if somehow or another we can just set our humanity aside and Scripture talks about the humble heart. And uh, how does one develop a humble heart? Well, that's when he stops being so full of himself and to realize, as the Scripture tells us, that except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. With all of our struggles and all of our stress, if somehow or another we can learn to do as it says in the book of Hebrews to just enter into his rest. Just enter into his rest, a place of trust, a place of faith, a place of putting our confidence in his ability to take us through and bring us to a place of peace because we put our trust in him. And as a result of that, just out of the uh, overflow of our heart, of the abundance of our heart, because we realize what God has done and what he will do. Father God, I praise you. And let praise just begin to be a part of who we are. And uh, it'll bring us to a place that we really will be able to trust him. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.